This video will cover surface consistent amplitude correction. SE amplitude correction is a two-step process. In the first step, we will calculate our SE amplitude operators, and then we will apply them in the second step. This is similar to the procedure for SE deconvolution. The first module we will use is the SC Amplitude Calculate. This module is used outside the loop. We will need data with the source and receiver coordinates already applied. In this example, we are going to use several modules in the subsequence in order to save storage space in our system. Because we want to apply our SC Amplitude Correction at the same time as we apply our SC Deconvolution, we're going to put the SC Decon Apply module here in the subsequence. Any modules added to the subsequence will be applied to the data before the operators are calculated. Here, I've also added two mute by velocity modules to the subsequence in order to window the data prior to calculation. We can use any mute module to achieve this goal or import a mute picking item under Mute Picking in the Input Data tab. Next, we'll set the parameters for the SC amplitude calculate. We can choose the number of domains we want for the calculation here set our thresholds and minimum and maximum offset parameters under Advance. Once the calculate has run, we can now apply our operators. The best practice at this point is to save our amplitude correction operators to the database. To do this, go to the Output Data tab and right-click on the Amplitude Recovery Data item and select Save to DB, or add the Save to DB module and connect this data item. This makes it simple to generate as many sets of operators as we wish if we want to test them later. The operators are then applied inside the seismic loop. Similar to the SC deconvolution, we can also add SC amplitude correction apply to the subsequence of any other module, such as stack imaging. In this case, however, we're going to save out a set of gathers. Here we've set up a seismic loop with the SC decon apply and the SC amplitude correction. Under Input Data, we're going to add in a set of our saved operators. Alternately, we can grab those operators directly from the SC Amplitude Correction Calculate module. Under Parameters, we can set our desired amplitude level and our desired application domains. For more information, subscribe to our YouTube channel, check out our other videos, or visit us at geomage.com.